In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to pick the right video editing software. And this is a huge topic that there's a lot of opinions on. And that's because there's so many things that go into it. But I just want to focus on a few key things that I wish I knew whenever I was first getting started. And I think it would be super helpful for you. So down here, I have a few notes that I'm, if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. I just want to be respectful of your time so that I'm not rambling and going on a tangent or anything like that. But let me just go ahead and get right into the first point. Don't make the same mistake that I did. I started in Sony Vegas. I went and started editing whole projects in After Effects, and then I went to Premiere Pro. This all happened because I wasn't being consistent or I didn't really know the type of content that I wanted to create. I was just testing out all these different softwares to see what they were able to produce for me. But if I could go back in time, I would really want to be able to first determine what type of content am I going to create? Am I creating videos on my phone? Do I want to edit videos on my phone? It's because there are videos out there that have millions of views that have been shot and edited on a phone. But maybe you're a filmmaker like me and you need something that's more higher end and it's got a lot more features like good color grading and stuff like that. That would require me to have a, a paid option. But there's... You know, there's a lot of things that go into it, but when, once you know what type of content that you're going to be creating consistently, then you can decide on that. That's the first step is like, do I need to spend a whole bunch of money on learning Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve? And there's a whole argument to that when it comes to like, well, what's, what's the industry standard? A lot of people that are hiring editors expect video editors to know Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, uh, Final Cut Pro, one of, at least one of those platforms because they are what everyone is using in the industry. But if you're someone that is getting new and getting into this, you have to decide, it's like, or one, do you have the budget? Do you have the budget to be able to go and, and pay for those platforms to be able to learn? Or do you need to explore utilizing a free option like CapCut or the free version of DaVinci Resolve and get familiar with just video general video editing? And if you want to get more familiar with general video editing topics, I'll leave a link down in the description to my free video editing handbook. You can check that out. It's just something that, especially for those that are new into it, it's not, it's a short read and it's got a lot of pictures and stuff like that in it. But I wouldn't want to put all my eggs in one basket with a paid software if I was still trying to figure out if this was the gig that I was trying to get into with video editing. Now, the next point that I have here is another factor that goes into your choice on what software to use could really be impacted by what operating system you're used to. So there's a lot of video editors out there that started in iMovie and made that natural transition to Final Cut Pro. And that's okay because in, in this creative world, it's, some people prefer to stick to things that they know so they can create and they don't have to relearn a new software and things like that because there's a lot of similarities between Final Cut Pro and iMovie. I'm not, they're not like, Final Cut Pro is really good. I'm not saying that iMovie is not, but there are some similarities there that, that make it easier for a person to move from that iMovie to Final Cut. But, you know, for me, I've been on Windows, I've been on Mac, I've been on Windows, and I'm not, that's a whole nother argument, which one's better there. I don't even want to get into that because everybody has their reason why one's better than the other. But stick to what you know. If you know something and, it, and you, you feel like it's something that makes your process, it makes it easier for you and it doesn't take away from your bandwidth, you could do that. That's totally fine. What's your skill set though? That's the next thing is like, What's your skill set? Are you someone that is getting into filmmaking and you have a good understanding and want to know whether or not taking that leap into a paid software is worth it? Well, then maybe DaVinci Resolve is because they are very heavy on the color grading side of things and very, very respected on the color grading side of things. Or do you want to do something like a paid version of CapCut or a paid version with Premiere Pro. It really just depends on the, the, you know, what are those specific things that you care about and those things that you want to be good at or the things that you're already good at. Because I look at it like this. As a filmmaker, the only time that I upgrade my gear 
is whenever my gear starts to hinder my ability to be able to make the things that I want to make. So there's a skill to gear gap whenever you first buy uh, your gear. And once you get to that point to where your skills are exceeding what your equipment is allowing you to be able to create, then is the op- the time for you to upgrade. And that goes with cameras, that goes with computers. So if you're a video editor and your computer's really slow because you know how to do all these things, it might be time for you to upgrade your computer. But that's just something to consider, like what's your skill set and what are you trying to do? What features are important to you that goes hand in hand with what I just said, but you know, like color grading and things, or do you want to be able to do auto captions? Well, some, depending on the animations and things that you want to do, some free software offers that, but then there's also paid versions that offer that and make it a lot easier for you to be able to create. So that's another thing is what features are going to be important to you with the content that you're trying to create. And are you working with a team? Are, do you have a group of people that you're working with? Because Premiere Pro has a very good system for working with teams and things like that. And so just consider these things alone are not the end all be all. But these things, I feel like if I would have focused on them whenever I was first getting started, I would not have wasted so much time doing things that were non-productive, like taking away from my energy and the things that I taking away from the things that for allowing me to create videos. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much. If you stuck around to the end, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in this video right here.